Hello everyone and welcome to the Library Kitchen here at the Gloucester County Public Library. I'm Chris and today we're making a sweet treat in guess what? An air fryer. Because air fryers are more than just making tater tots, french fries, and mozzarella sticks. So we're going to be making a version of deep fried Oreos, but in this case it's going to be an air fryer Oreo. And it doesn't take but only a few ingredients and about seven minutes. So let's get started with our ingredients. We're gonna use one box of puff pastry dough, thawed. We're going to use some Oreo cookies. Now, there's an assortment of Oreo cookies here on my plate. There are some peanut butter chocolate Oreos, some double stuff Oreos, and some chocolate chocolate Oreos. Also, I've cut up a couple pieces of brownie to put in our puff pastry. So we're gonna start by rolling out our puff pastry dough on our mat. We're going to use a two inch biscuit cutter and we're gonna cut some rounds out of this puff pastry dough. Now we're cutting the dough out to make a top and a bottom for our Oreos. We're gonna have one egg beaten because we're gonna use that as the glue that we pinch the two sides of the puff pastry together in. I'll be right back. So we've cut out our puff pastry sheet and we are able to get um, 16 rounds out of each sheet. And so that's gonna make eight uh, air fryer Oreos. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with our round of dough. We're gonna just work it with our fingers just a little bit to flatten it out. We're gonna brush it with a little bit of egg and that'll help glue the two pieces of puff pastry together so we make a nice seal um, when we put our cookie on. And once you put a little egg on the, the uh, pastry dough, you're gonna sandwich the cookie in between the two pieces of dough and then go around the edges and pinch the dough together. And you're gonna do that for each cookie. Once you finish pinching the dough together, you're gonna then cup the dough between your finger and thumb and then bend that seal over and underneath on the bottom of the cookie. At that point, you're going to put just a little bit of an egg wash on the top and continue with all of your cookies. So I'm finishing up making my last cookie to put into the air fryer and you're going to want to preheat your fryer to 350 degrees and we're going to cook these for about seven minutes. So let's get that turned on and preheat it to 350. So our air fryer is preheated to 350 degrees. We're gonna take the basket out and spray it with a little non-stick spray. We're now gonna place our cookies in the basket, seam side down. and we're gonna cook for seven minutes. So it's been about seven minutes and I believe our cookies are about done. So as you can see, the puff pastry is golden brown with a cookie in the middle. We're gonna go ahead and plate these. And we're gonna dust them with a little bit of powdered sugar. These cookies are so good, fresh out of the air fryer. We're gonna take a little bit of powdered sugar, 
and we're gonna dust the tops of these just a little bit of added uh, fanciness to a puff pastry air fried Oreo so let's cut into one and see how it looks ooey gooey deliciousness please remember to like and subscribe to the gloucester county youtube channel so that you don't miss any of our upcoming recipes or demonstrations bye bye